There is no meme. This is just a threat. Let's kill him. And then a court can come up. Just fucking kill them all, Peter! Alright. And then you just go right there to give support bonus. Oh, the Feast for Peter! I forgot about that bow! Like, get Corona, monkey pox, um, herpes, AIDS. Eventually you'll just have too much stuff and you'll forget you had cancer. Alright. Um, hold on. What's your maximum move? Okay, so Jonathan's starting to slow down over there. That's fine. And over there. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't do that. So at this point... Um, just viewing the objectives. Seizes Pirate's Fortress... Okay, so I need to seize the Pirate Fortress. Wait a minute, how... How could I seize the Pirate Fortress if Zade can't... Talking to Drake probably allows me to go down there. Okay, that's probably how that works. Alright. Um... I guess everyone else can just kind of start... Meandering over here? Just don't fuck with the guy. Like, um, Zaid. Oh, those are impassable rocks over there. Okay. Oh, anyone who can cross the water can capture the pirate fortress? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Fair. Stop right there, villains! If you intend to pillage this poor hamlet, you'll first have to get through me, Bay Monk, the Whistling Blade. The villagers hired you to protect them? Halt, sir. We aren't your enemy. We haven't come to harm the village. True, you certainly don't look like pirates, except for those two pirates you have kidnapped and chained beside you, but I think they're irrelevant. Say, have we met before? Your face looks awfully familiar. I don't think so? Really? I could have sworn that. Ah, maybe I'm just mistaking you for someone else. Fine, fine, follow me. Please, ignore the foreshadowing. Vestas, Vespers. So you're the long, young lord of Bredessa. And I simply don't know how to thank you for ridding us of those ungodly pirates. Our entire village owes you a great deal. Mm. Eh. I know it's the knight's fault. Our fault that the kingdom is in such a disarray. You need not to thank me. In fact, I owe you a much better apology than this. Fun fact, Bayment was a main was a named enemy back in chapter 8 of v VS1. He even had the euphoria there. Oh, that's cool. Say no more, my liege. I would not hear another apology from such a noble mouth. We may live on royal land, but that matters little in times of civil war. Ah, that reminds me. Nelki, come to me. Yes, Elder? What's the matter? Lord Zadrian, Nelki here is planning to travel to Lana Sanctum to study in the spring. Of course, she gave up on that journey once the pirates took over the strait. Lord Zadrian, please forgive me for my insolence, but will you be so kind as to escort her to the Sanctum? She's still an acolyte in training, but I'm sure she'll prove helpful on your journey. Elder, we walk a very dangerous road. Please, my lord, I want to study at the Temenos if it's the last thing I ever do. Come, Zade, have some mercy. There's no reason to make a poor girl beg like this. Besides, you think this village is going to be any less dangerous? Not until the Civil War ends, I can tell you that. Doesn't matter how many brigands we dice up. There's always a new brand of ugly right around the corner. It's as you say, Caesar. Nelki, was it? You're welcome to come with us. Once we finish dealing with the pirates and secure a vessel, we'll come back to pick you up. You are to wait here until then. Is that understood? Thank you so much, my lord. And you too, Sir Caesar. I'm forever in your debt. Hey there, Sir Noble. The Elder told me everything. Thanks to your hard work, this village doesn't need me around anymore. And so, I bring you a humble request. Hire me, please! Hire you? That's right. I chatted up one of your men and learned everything. 
If you're headed to Lana Sanctum, then I'd love to go along. I've almost finished my training, and I've been wanting to pay that place a visit before I begin my long journey home. Eh, what do you think this is, a pleasure jaunt? We don't have room for any gallivanting hotshots. Ah, oh, come on, don't be like that. I can tell you're loaded. Surely you've got the means to take on another sellsword. I'll even offer my services at a special bargain price of twenty of 2,000 denarii. What a steal! Fine, you drive a hard bargain. But you answer to me, got it? Cross me and you'll be sorry. Excellent! I'll get right to work then. You won't regret this little investment, Sir Noble. Believe you me. It has cost me $20,000, but I do have a gemstone. And I got a new dude! I sure hope he doesn't get stabbed by 16 different people. You know, here's hoping. I want to keep him out of the range of that Arbalest. For as long as I can, at least. Hmm. Alright, well, with that being handled for now... Alright, hang on. Let's, let's take, take a look at dialogues. Alright, just Zayd and Drake. There's a joke to be made comparing Caesar as a tactician to modern FE protags who can sleep with everyone. I'm just too jump. Oh yeah, Caesar for sure has that fuckboy energy. He's got that fight in him. He's got that dog in him. Without a doubt. Wait a minute. What? That doesn't drop when he dies. That doesn't, like, it, 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 it doesn't drop. So does that mean he's just gonna put it on the ground? And then I go grab it? A court can't move there. Hilda can, so we'll get her down there next. Are you light infantry? You are. He can also move down there. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. What? Why? Why is... What is this dragon doing? I am very, very, like... Call me crazy. Alright. Alright, let's save our game, because, you know, enough time has passed. Um, I don't want to get into Arbalest fucker's range, but, like, I mean, I, I gotta. You know, I, I have to eventually. Scissor Axe. It increases crit rate, but I did just save the game. So, I think that that's fine. Alright, um... Let's see, what do you have? A swift bow. It makes you really fast and double... Oh, god damn it. Alright, who has good defense again? Hilda can kind of have good defense. Alright. Or, no, wait, hold on. You are probably the best, um... You can probably just dodge. Yeah, okay. A court can't go down because she's a mage. Slain can't because that would just be... That would just make things too easy. Alright, so I need Slain to just move up. You move over here. And all y'all other people, just get ready to move. Mmm. Well, the crit happened. And- Oh! 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 oh. Oh, that level up. Oh my god, that makes my dick hard. We're saving just for that one, baby. Had enough? Concede, and I'll spare your life. You think I'm doing this because I want to? 
Rackham stole a precious armlet from me, and I aim to reclaim it. If you're willing to go and find it for me, well, that's a different story. But if not, then I'm never backing down. Alright. Got it. So, let's put you right here. Let's, um, hold on. Let's make sure, are you, like... Yeah, you can move right here. Bro, what's with Zaid level... Yeah, I don't know if this is still true in Vestoria 2, but in the original game... Um... Okay, Strawberry Blandness, I can see that you're playing Elder Scrolls. Like, in the original game, he did not have good growth rates. His bases were just absurd. So, like, it never mattered. But he's growing very well. I can risk putting him right there, sure. Alright, that, that looks good. Okay, so Zaid's growths aren't exceptional. Alright, him getting hit by that 13% might have just killed him. So he got hit by a 13% and a 20% back to back. Sure. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I am not perturbed by that chain of events whatsoever. The main character was the Jake. Damn. All right. Um. Let's just look around. All right. Um. Hilda, are you able to one-shot this guy? You don't have to. Cool. That that's hot. I like I like that. I I I love seeing that from my girl. Um, but if I put you down here. Yeah. Oh, the problem is, won't this guy fucking gat you? No, you won't, because he can't reach. Aha! This only really goes wrong. It, it doesn't actually. Never once will it go wrong. And then you move down here. Continue to kill. I am not ready for that guy to die a terrible cancer-related death. Like, I can feel that it's coming. I just don't want it to. Uh, everyone else can kind of just wait. There we go. Alright. Um, oh, wait a minute. Shit. Zaid has the, uh... And he needs to be under 10 health. No, not you. Hold on. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. So as long as I save before I do it... I can, I can capture him. I just need to make sure that Slain won't crit him. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys armed with? Thieves Repeater and just a regular old run-of-the-mill broad axe? Alright. Um, Hilda, you have, yeah, you have the, uh... You're packing, you're packing the good healing items. Crit or... Yeah, there are several ways that that ends in my death. But, like, get over it. Who cares? Um, I just end here. So, like, what is that dragon's... Okay, you know what? A blank level up on her in exchange for all the really fucking good level ups... That's equivalent exchange. But why is what I'm wondering. Like, what makes that dragon so helpful? Alright. 
So just hear me out here. Don't kill Karajan. <laughs> My symphony of magic will be the last thing you hear before you're reduced to dust. You don't have a weapon equipped. A sphere and mercenary, I see. The victor of this battle has already been made clear. Throw down your weapon and surrender at once. So be it. But I will see that you uphold the Treaty of Selrond. Abuse your new hostage, and you will be hearing from the Spire. Cool. We got him. Um. Zaid, keep moving. Alright, buckaroo. Let's see what hat. Hang on, let's just take a quick look. Yep, this looks like it's good to me. Ugh. You think you can take on the great Captain Rackham and live to tell the tale? Ugh. So karma caught up with me, huh? <laughs> Woe is me. Arr. Warning, do not send the Crescent Armlet to your stockpile. You'll need to use it somewhere on the map. Got it. Now I just need to send that back up to Zade. Works for me. But I just wanted to surrender. You should have had the asterisk above your name if you wanted mercy. You get what you fucking deserve. Anyways. Pew! Pew! Level up. More magic and resistance. That's pretty nice, actually. Also have a name, jackass. Yeah, you get it. And now we just wait. All right. Well... So now, okay, sure, now we just, just keep killing them, and be less ugly. Ugly people are never recruitable unless we have a small, trusting child. True! Um, attack. Yeah, no need to keep using your personal axe. Um, Zaid can move up and seize the fort soon. That should stop the end. Oh, God. Is Dragon Friend going to attack me if I just were to move next to the, uh, the item? Thank you, friend. Good job, Zaid. Oh, and we looted them for all they're worth! That's awesome. Uh, Sheila. No known reason to just not let you finish things off here. Oh, and then we trade over to you. And then you can move up to here. And then Zay just has to get back. And we win! Woo! We did it! We are a winner! Yay! Motherfuck Jonathan! How am I gonna talk to him? Huh. And he's still dying of cancer! Had enough? Can speed, and I'll spare your life. All right, all right, you win. I'll be happy to join your team, but only on one condition. The armor that you have there is something Rackham stole from me. Return it to me, and my blade is yours. Do you have any proof that this item belongs to you? Well, look at you being all attentive to detail. No, I don't have any proof. If you can't trust me, then what are we still doing here? Zay, go out on a limb for me here and take his word. I have a hunch, a small hunch, but it's telling me this man is no liar. You know him, Caesar? Not particularly, but he's well known amongst my thieving associates as the Seducing Scion. 
A womanizer who always seems to find luck with the ladies despite how little he speaks. Infuriating, isn't he? That is, however, the only rumor I've heard about him, which makes me believe he's a man that can be trusted, more or less. Now then, Drake, what's this about you being a wanted man? Just what sort of mess did you manage to get yourself into this time? You must know, I fell into some treasure at, at a certain noble's manor, and an inhabitant of said manor happened to see my face. Soon enough, they placed a bounty on my head high enough to attract a whole horde of hyenas. Hmm, that must be some treasure you unearthed. Wait a minute, don't you tell me it's the amulet? Indeed, it belonged to my father until a noble murdered him and stole it right out from his cold, dead hands. I simply wanted to reclaim it, that's all. But that would be far too simple a story for the masses to swallow, now wouldn't it? Not to mention blood bloody nobles themselves. You speak like a man who has nothing to hide. Uh, accept my apologies for doubting you. You may also have your armlet back. Armlet back. You're welcome to come with us, Drake, but I will leave the decision up to you. Eh, why don't you fool surprises? Fine, I'll lend you my blade. Not like I got anywhere else to go at the moment. Woo! So, Drake only. He has an anti-infantry sword. And it also... Get Charisma, wait a minute. Where is it? Where's Charisma on the thing? Oh, there it is. Yep, that looks like Charisma to me. So, did he just make Pern, but a Pern that you can get earlier in the game? Here we are, Senna, the Port of Costas. I've already reserved a ship for us, so we can just rest a bit before we shove off. Ah, oh, my aching back. We owe Lord Zadrian and his friends so much, and now we'll get to travel alongside them. Oh, it's like a dream come true. Indeed. After all, we found a whole band of bodyguards who are willing to work for free. Ha ha ha, it looks like the gods have finally gotten around to thanking me for all my good deeds. Grandfather, please. He doesn't say such things around Lord Zadrian and his friends. Well, I've completed map three with every single side objective done. Oh, yeah, I've heard of you. You're the one who took out all those miserable pirates, aren't you? Sure, taking you to Macelle is the least I could do, considering what you did for us. All aboard! We'll set sail as soon as you're ready. So just let me know when you'd like to shove off. Hey Z, those scoundrels you captured are saying they'll gladly serve you if you spare them. They look pretty scrawny, but they should prove useful as meat shields at the very least. Mind if I put them under my employ? And as long as you're prepared to take responsibility for them. I plan to set them free from the very start, but I'm fine with that plan as well. You're the boss. We both know these scumbags are better off dead, but why not get some use out of them before they keel over, right? <sighs> Knowing you, Caesar, I will trust those words are only in jest. Don't overdo it. I'm sure they all had reasons for what they did. Eh, yeah, they had reasons, all right. Yeesh. Just what will it take to blacken your heart, Z? By your leave, Lord Adrian. Grandfather and I are ready to depart whenever you are. Heh. <laughs> Thank you for your spirited notification, Senna. I appreciate your cheer. I don't appreciate how dry my throat is getting. Oh, there you are, Nel Nelky. Good! Now that everyone's here, I think we're finally ready to depart. Captain, we're ready. I trust you're ready as well? You betcha! Just leave the rest to me. If this fine weather's any indication, we have a thoroughly cushy journey ahead of us. Woo! We did it! Wait a minute! This is... This map looks very similar to map 2 of the first game. This reminds me a lot of the Amundsen map. The War of Maselli. Can you see that port over yonder, my lord? That's Port Cologna. Oh, I'm sorry, Coloni. If it's if I want to pronounce it like the baloney. 
Port Elm is to the east and is much bigger and has far better fitments. Fitments, excuse me. We'd be disembarking there if it weren't for the damn civil war. Sadly, the entire eastern side of the island has been claimed by Cor uh, Cordy, so we have no choice but to dock here for now. The war has spread this far? Does the Earl of Maselli stand a chance? Of course not. The Duke of Cordia commands one of Melodia's four great provinces, which makes the eastern half the entire kingdom. Unless we forget the Duke is also the late King Melsa's older brother, illegitimate though his claim to the throne may be, a brave, wise man from a noble line who was once heralded as a hero for his deeds. Why bother with all that rebellion? Because it's family. When two brothers get into a fight, the suffering of innocent bystanders is the last thing on their minds. Hmm? What is that? Excuse me. A brave, wise, honored man once forced to bend the knee to his inferior younger brother. Really think that wouldn't piss him off? Huh? When his stupid little brother died in that reckless war, all the Duke probably thought was serves him right. But then the princess, hardly more than a babe, comes scurrying back home and the people flock to her. The Duke of Cordy is a traitor who helped Sylvia invade the kingdom, remember? If thrust at the feet of the princess, he'd be exiled at best, executed at worst. A humiliation he'd refuse either way. And so, rather than bend the knee to his niece, he decided to place his bets on going solo. Yep, makes perfect sense to me. Hmm, and here I thought the life of a noble was filled with nothing but lavish luxury. Makes you wonder if all these lofty titles are really worth it in the end. Ah, oh, it's enough chit-chat for now. Sun's risen and we reached the harbor. Prepare to disembark. Ugh. Oh, okay. I can manage items. And the resolution has changed. Why does the resolution on these maps, like, change so much? This really doesn't matter if you don't have to fucking keep changing it for your, uh, for your Twitch channel. Alright. However, there is very, very, very sad news I have to break to you all. Alright. Can't wait until he comes back and sees Nelky's staff. Alright. I'll I'll be the judge of this. What the fuck? <laughs> Refresh? Already? Oh my god. I can barely use anyone. One to five range? Are you serious? All right. Um, Jonathan store, sell, sack of corn. All right, we got money. All right, let me just look around here. Refugee. Ooh. Uh oh, and that's also. Alright, let me just look around here. That's. A lot of going to the up. Heir to Vlad, Duke of Cordia, an elite graduate from Imperial. Mmm. Welcome to the best utility in the game. Not terribly worth deploying on this map, but she's damn good. Okay, so I get a bunch of new units. Alright. So I very clearly... Is that an armor knight I can get? I'm hoping. Okay. Let me just take off everyone for a second here. So I want one of my pirates. Um... I think I'll take the slightly faster pirate. 
Um, what is bringing Jonathan do for me? Let me it lets me access the supply, I assume. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna want my mage. Um. Hmm. Drake just seems really good. Merlinus, all right. Um, let me bring along Slain and Hilda. One of my healers, definitely. Sure, Drake, and then one of the healers. What's that strength thing on Jonathan? Let me look. Um, view stats. Hagler. Uh, Stalwart. And Herb Forager. Oh, it's, um, the healer lady from the last game again. Alright, so sure. Select units. Y'all have told me to bring along Karajan. Let me, uh... Do you have, like, a tome I could give Karajan by any chance? No! Wonderful. Alright. So let's, um... Does anyone here need more weapons? I think a court should just give Slain another bow. Um, what else? You should have some more swords other than just your personal weapon. So, Zaid, give him... I guess the that? Jonathan's sword, wait a minute. Just to, you know, have on hand... There we go. That is looking good to me. I can already tell the pirate has a long, lengthy journey ahead of him. Uh, and maybe the sorcerer should not be leading the charge. Alright. I think it's time to get this party started. Something's not right. What's going on here? As the captain surmised, Cordia is probably planning to seize control of the entire island. Zex busy fighting Cordia too now, isn't he? Yes. The Dukes of Cordia and Frisk joined hands to betray our kingdom and help the Solvan Emperor Empire conquer our lands. Even after we achieved peace with Solvia, they refused to stand down, so Zex sent out a punitive force to quell them. The details of that little endeavor elude me, but I assume it's got nothing to do with us. Not so, Caesar. If Cordia became an enemy of the kingdom, that makes them our foe as well. And if they're stooped so low as to attack help... I don't think that soldier up there looks helpless. Let's speak with the town folk. Yeah, like, oh, I had to team up with a goody-goody two-shoes. You knew what you were getting into, Caesar. What the? Who are you? Oh, travelers? Oh, please excuse the outburst then. I hope the state of our town hasn't shocked you too terribly. You see, Colony belongs to Earl Rolick, just like the rest of this island. But now that the Duke of Cordia's forces have set their sights on it, the people have begun to evacuate. Every last person in town was ordered to run to Castle Miscelli, our lord's stronghold on the western side of the island. I'd do anything to stay in my home, but word has it, the commander leading the Cordian invasion is a brutal monster. He burnt down every village he conquered so far, and even organized mass executions who dared assist the Earl. Now that his army is nearly upon us, only the gods know how many of us will actually be able to escape with our lives. Bro, I'm here, I'm going to kill them all. Don't worry, I got you. Unless a dragon shows up again. At which case, y'all are fucked, have fun. But unless that happens, I got you. Alright, so the... Alright. Well, let's see what happens here. I'll have to hightail it out of here in order to avoid certain doom at the hands of that bloodthirsty army. But before I do that, I simply must tell you all about our wonderful island. 
Masel Isle is a Meldian province that has been ruled by Rolik House for generations. The Earl of Masel answers directly to the Duchy of Cordia, which is located on the eastern side of the mainland. Back during the war with the Solvian Empire, the Duke of Cordia dutifully carried out their every order. It should come as no surprise that Earl Rolik found no joy in watching his Duke portray Melida, Melida, Melida over and over again. Likewise, he felt ashamed whenever he heard news of the young brothers Redissa and brothers of Redissa and Princess Astolphus, who all continued to bravely fight the Empire even after losing their homeland. Hey, that's me! Of course, our Lord only grew more indignant once he learned what had happened to Regina was after would take. Blah, 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 blah. Why do I do a let's play in a stream if I can't fucking talk? The moment the capital was reclaimed, the Duke of Cordia swooped in and claimed that he was somehow the rightful ruler of Melida. The Duke then rallied up the other noble families who had previously sided with Solvia and feared royal retribution for their betrayals. And now he's basically he's a whiny little bitch and he's gathering all the other whiny little bitches to do evil things. That he openly defied the Duke, claiming to beg for forgiveness from the princess even if she sends him to death. Enraged, the Duke tasks his eldest son Baruch with the leading. Uh huh. Right. As of now, he's lost greater than half the island, and Colony is moments from falling. I'll entrust this hammer with you. Sweet! Actually, that's a very humorous unit for you to give it to. Alright, Pork. Just start schmoovin'. So basically... What I'm gathering is everything is fucked. What's that? The people of Colony abandoned the port and fled? Yes, my lord. And Rolik himself has marched out to defend them. Ha! The fool! How does he expect to face us with all those peasants skittering about? You know what that means. Now's our chance. Send in our troops one by one, starting with the vanguard. I want to see every last one of Rolik's men slaughtered like cattle. But sir, shouldn't we, you know, adopt some sort of strategy? Maybe with triangles? Strategy? You dare speak to me of strategy? Think you're so smart you can lecture your own lord, is that it? No, of course not, my lord. Please excuse my insolence. <sighs> Just shut up and follow my orders, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Meanwhile, I'll go and update the rear guard. Yes, sir. The enemy will be here any minute now. Hurry up and escape before it's too late. Fine, fine, I'll do whatever you say, Phoebe. Just don't give me that look. By the way, once we get to Maselli Castle, can we hang out again? I know we're from different worlds and all, but... Tss, poor woman. Alright, so someone... I'll take the van. Please, my lord, I beg you. Please keep our people straight. Of course, Elder. Bennett, I'm gonna out to encourage the troops. You need to get back to the castle at once. No, I came here to assist you, my lord, and that's what I'll do. You're an archer. I already have two of those, and that's two enough. <sighs> okay, never mind. She just wants to protect her husband. Very nice. Oh, I can use Bennett? Excellent work, soldier. I know this is a harrowing fight, but I hope you can find within yourself to hold out just a little bit longer. Here, take these herbs. Oh, hey, good guy. Good guy, this dude. Let me look at what Bennett can do. Oh, that's a lot of skills. Glamour. <laughs> Hello. I like that. 